Yoga family, you are invited to my first ever live virtual yoga retreat coming from my home to yours, happening September 25th through the 27th. Here's what you'll experience. Live yoga classes, live journaling, live sound healing, opening and closing ceremonies, retreat workbook, retreat Facebook group, and so much more. To learn more about this at-home weekend yoga retreat experience, click the link below and register. I so hope you'll join me and our yoga family to celebrate the fall equinox and experience the magic of a yoga retreat. Hello yoga community, welcome back to my channel, the best place to practice yoga for your body, mind, and soul. Today's yoga class is a gentle practice for grounding and centering. This is a great class anytime you're facing uncertainty, adversity, and you're wanting to build resiliency. For this class, I'm using the intention I am supported. And I ask that you write that intention, I am supported in the comments below so I know you're committing to that intention with me. I am supported. Now this is a gentle practice and I love using props when possible. So hear me out, I am recommending a bolster However, you could substitute one or two blocks for the time when we use the bolster or stack a bunch of pillows in your home on top of one another. That's a great idea. I am also recommending one block. If you don't have a block, that's okay. These are recommendations, not requirements. You'll still get so much out of this practice. However, if you want to invest in props, check out my recommendations in the description below. Okay, yogis, we are going to start in a kneeling posture. <laughs> We're going to start in a kneeling posture. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I'll meet you there. Alrighty, like I said, we're going to start in kneeling, which basically means upright on the knees. I'm not sure if kneeling is the best way to describe this, but Come up onto your knees and notice how I have a blanket underneath my knees. That's just for some extra cushioning, padding, support. You can always roll up your yoga mat or add a towel or blanket, right? And my knees are hip width distance here. And on an inhale, reach your fingertips high to the sky. Exhale, lower down, forehead comes to the mat, hands sweep back, hips reach back. Inhale, rise back up, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, slowly lower back into this child's pose variation. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise high, connecting breath with movement. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise high, establishing a sense of grounding and feeling rooted. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Two more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release the hands down by your sides. Lift the torso back up. Now we're in a kneeling posture. <laughs> and let's come into Balasana Child's Pose. Very grounding posture. Very, um, it really provides a container for healing. I'm recommending that we all place our forehead on one block. However, if you have more props, you could even rest a bolster propped up on this one block and bring your knees around the bolster like so. This is what I'll be doing and we'll be here for three minutes. So anything that's gonna add to your experience, welcome that in and build yourself the most beautiful posture that you can, right? So coming into Balasana, Child's Pose, 
really lengthening out of the pelvis, growing tall through the spine, and resting an ear down. You might also have your forehead straight down on a block, right? And we'll be here for three minutes together. Feel free to release the breath. No need to control it here. As you hold here and invite this healing inward, you can chant and repeat, I am supported over and over our intention for this class together. I am supported. We have one more minute here, really soaking up the posture, making any adjustments you might need to make it even more comfortable for yourself. Take a final breath here. Exhale, sigh out the mouth. Begin to slowly make your way out of Balasana. Remove the props, set them off to the side. Let's come into cat-cow pose, tabletop position, and really gently begin to move the body in and out of flexion and extension using our breath to guide us in and out of the different movements here and i really want you to take ownership move at the pace that you need move with your unique energy you might want to go a little bit faster slower, deeper, more mild. You also might want to circle the hips or find barrel rolls. You do you here. What feels the most supportive? Last round. If 
Beautiful. Come to neutral tabletop. Come up to a kneeling posture. We're coming into fan pose or wide-legged forward fold. If you have a blanket, I really like to fold it up and sit on the edge here so that my pelvis tips forward and I get a little bit more length. You could also roll up the back of your yoga mat and sit on that. It'll create the same effect. Then if you've got two blocks, you can create a nice tower and come here and then adjust the heights as needed for your mobility and what you're really needing in this posture today during this practice. Also, if you have a bolster, you can rest it between your legs and again, prop it up on a block like before, lean forward and find your pose here. So adjust yourself accordingly. You can always move and we're gonna hang out for at least three minutes, okay? At least three minutes here. Make sure the legs are nice and long. The toes are flexing back towards the feet here. And inhale to really lengthen out of the pelvis and exhale to fold forward to your depth. Again, inviting in that intention of I am supported. I am supported, I am grounded, I am rooted, I am taken care of. Feel free to close your eyes, draw inward. Enjoy this beautiful moment of stillness and silence. We'll stay for another minute or two. Continuing to remind yourself, I am supported here. Practices like these help us Maintain the foundation, maintain the structural integrity so that we can build our lives upon it, step into our personal power, reach for our potentiality, dream big, whatever that means for you. But first, we need the foundation, the base, the base of our being. Knowing that in you showing up to the mat, you're creating, maintaining, and strengthening that foundation.
less than a minute. Enjoy this moment. I am supported. Take a final breath here, inhaling. Open the mouth, sigh, exhale. Lift yourself back up really slowly. And let's just end with a little bit of seated, guided stillness. You can bring yourself into a cross-legged position. And we're going to use what's called the Bhu Mudra. The Bhu Mudra symbolizes the earth element. And anytime we're working with grounding and centering and feeling supported and building the foundation, we look to the earth element in the root chakra for wisdom. So the way to bring yourself into the Bhu Mudra is fold the pinky and the ring fingers in and use the thumb to hold these fingers down. And what you'll notice then is the pointer and the middle finger extend. Bring your fingers down to connect with the yoga mat, with the earth plane. And notice how you're creating a mountain-like shape, a V a triangle symbol, the symbol that represents strength, structure, and stability. So you're embodying this holy trinity of strength, structure, and stability. And now close your eyes, holding the Bhu Mudra, embodying a mountain-like quality, symbolizing the the shape of a triangle which represents strength, structure, and stability embodying that trinity embodying the earth's qualities feeling rooted grounded secure and safe here in this posture. Continue connecting your fingers with the earth plane, sitting up tall, embodying these qualities of the earth, strength, structure, stability, becoming the mountain that your life needs. And for the next minute, silently repeat to yourself, I am supported. I am supported for one minute. One minute, I am supported.
The last few seconds here, I am supported. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the side. Gather up the support we've cultivated here today together. Palms touch overhead. Hug your hands down into heart center on Jelly Mudra. We'll close with an OM to connect all of us. Inhale to prepare. When you feel ready, begin to open your eyes slowly. Welcome back to the physical space. Excellent work today. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly hope you feel more centered and grounded and held within this container, knowing that ultimately you control your internal landscape and yoga practices like these are the gateway to take back that control and really be that mountain-like force in your life so that when uncertainty and adversity present themselves, we have that resiliency that a mountain embodies. If you're looking for more yoga practices like these to deepen and continue your journey, check out these resources right here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my yoga channel so I can continue to support you from the comfort of your home. Okay, yoga family, and now the real work begins. We take our yoga off the mat and bring it into our daily lives. Thank you again for joining me. Namaste.